Welcome everybody. Welcome to Unique Photo. Uh, we're thrilled to have everybody out there in internet land for the awesome product launch today. We're going to be talking about the Nikon D810, which is their new uh, flagship DSLR camera. Uh, let me introduce my uh, distinguished guests that are with me today. First, I think we'll start all the way over on the other side of the table. Say hi, Mike. Hello. That's Mike Lopez. He's our Nikon account manager and general good guy, was told, right? <laughs> That's what we call a good guy. And directly to my right, this handsome gentleman is Neil Van Eicher. Right now, before we say what you are, right, didn't I just curse some, some language, right? I'm trying to just smile, and now you actually just... Right, I yeah, 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 right. right. deny, what is it? It's deny, right? You're not supposed to say that? In South Africa. Okay, Apparently, yeah. I just cursed in South Africa. I'll tell you where the conversation came from is the whole world says Nikon instead of Nikon. That's where the conversation came from. Right. And apparently the backstory. And apparently what I'm saying is Van Eyck is not sure what the right was saying. Why don't you say it right? Everybody, everybody is clear with it. It's just my yeah, to you're 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 in South Africa. Africa. So Nikon? Nikon. I, I so say your name properly? For Nikon. Oh, okay. I'm not saying cancel. You lost it. So Neil is one of the country's top wedding and portrait photographers. You actually have best seller. Do you book still a best seller on Amazon? Yeah, I've got three books out I just sent you the proof of the shows in December. Right, so you have the number one selling wedding photographer for a while. Or your publisher's best seller. Interesting. So, and we're going to be here, we're going to talk a little bit about this fantastic Right, so the camera is going to be available at Unique Photo. You can go out to uniquephoto.com. It will be available. Uh, if you can order it right now, uh, which is a really exciting thing because in the past when we've done product launches, you know, we talk about the camera and the product launch, and then it's weeks or months before the camera comes out. Well, here we are. We're launching the camera. We're going to have it. We have, we have it available. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. Okay, so let me ask, Mike, let me ask you the first question. Okay, so I own an iPhone. I own a D800, I own a D4. Tell me why I should buy a Nikon D800. Wow, that's a good question. Sure. Well, first of all, if you own a D800 and a D4, I want to thank you. You told me that you can. Let's start off with that. Well, I own a lot of them. You know, we're about to have a whole lot of them. That's true. That's true. Um, I, I think that the, the compar draw the comparison between the 800 and the 810. It's both are fantastic cameras. The fact is, this is not as revolutionary as the 800 because the 800 was the first 36 megapixel camera, huge file, I mean, fantastic imaging processor. But, but let me wait, I'm sorry to interrupt, but let me just say something. See, revolutionary is not necessary, it's not necessarily important for a working photographer. Correct. Sometimes, and sometimes those improvements that you make are the job that you have much easier, right? Correct. Correct. So, with the 810, what, what I find with the 810, especially having shot avidly with the 800, that was my go to camera, is that it's completely refined. That is the best way, I mean, taking a tool and refining that tool. They've done, we've, Nikon has done, or Nikon has done over 30 improvements on this camera. I mean, subtle things for the photographer, just from the way you hold it. So the photographers are holding this all day long at lunch or a photo shoot, it's going to be a lot okay, easier to handle. So give me an example. What do you think of the top three improvements? What would you say? Wow. Okay. Uh, top improvements. XP4 processor. Completely new processor. Uh, does a bunch of different things to the camera. First of all, it gives you a 25% faster frame rate. On top of that, it gives you the ability on one charge to shoot about 3,860 shots. Wait, say that again. 3,860 shots. Yeah, what's flash or without flash? Without, without flash. How many would flash? About 1,200. Uh, with flash. I mean, that's amazing. I don't know of any camera that has hey, that kind of it, it blew me away when they no, came So, to explain, that's a really big deal for you, right? To, to be able to shoot that with pictures on a simple battery without chilling on it? It would be, because, well, I shoot weddings. That's my uh, main thing that I shoot. And currently, I shoot with two D4 bodies. And with, uh, before the reception starts, I change batteries. Right. Because I just need fresh batteries, because they're not going to last the whole day at night. Right, I think of the photographer that's actually going out, I know someone who just went on the safari and they bought another brand of camera we won't mention, and they ended up buying 10 batteries because they were getting too far away from the place where they were trying to buy 
So I think if you shoot continuous period throughout the day, it might just actually be very helpful not to have to change batteries, or it means you don't have to create that many spares. So that three four process that we were talking about right. uh, also enables a lot of other things on the other side, which is like the video capabilities. Instead of 24p at 1080, okay. now you go up to 60p at 1080. Uh, what else? You have the zebra striping now. For all of these, all of these features right. are part of that XP4 processor, including now being able to go from 64 ISO up to 20 to 12. Let's talk a little bit about 64 ISO, all right? Because when I sort of went to my guys here at Unicode, everybody that works in my store, they're all working photographers. A lot of them are Nikon shooters. They all kind of smile when they say the camera's native ISO is 64. Talk about that a little bit. Why is that important? I mean, you start thinking of. Uh, you start thinking of old songs, you know, Cover Chrome 64. Right. You just start. You just start thinking of uh, the, the ability to shoot at 64 ISO enables many things. First of all, it's a native ISO, which means that you're not paying a penalty as far as color saturation, right. contrast, and dynamic range. Going further, having 64 ISO enables you for a landscape photographer or a scenic photographer or a architectural photography neutral density filters. It's giving you the ability to have you know, carry one less neutral density filter in your arsenal. And finally, just the detail that you're able to get, extract out of those files at 64 ISO is just fantastic. Right, so you combine the 64 ISO with the low pass filter. No low pass filter. No low pass filter. And you're really talking about the absolute best image quality that you can get out of the camera. Absolutely. Then you just mentioned the second, which would be the uh, fact that it no longer has an optical low pass filter. So, I mean, the image quality out of that, you're getting true resolution out of this camera versus like the 800 which was fantastic but this is really the uh, this is the the, the beast unbridled basically. Tell me what you think about it.
let's talk about accessories, right? Right, so if I'm a D810, D800, owner, D800, D800A, right? It's diary. Same battery. Yeah, the L15, right? Right. Wow, I got that right. Diary grip? Same grip. What other accessories are the same? I mean, for, for the guy that already has a system, completely seamless transition. So, from the MD12 uh, battery grip to the battery packs that he's got, charger, everything is exactly the same. So, it's going to be a seamless transition. You know, one of the things we were talking about, of course, is the right? Which is kind of the, the thing that everybody talks about. Right? So, this is a 36 Correct. Right, which is pretty cool. But I think that was a real I'm slowly transitioning into commercial photography. I'm working with two different bodies. I was thinking of the D610 or D100. Right. I think it's just absolutely as it can be. I thought it was really interesting. You know, I know you like said you shoot the two points. You picked up this camera within a few minutes. You're like, this is the one. Yeah, so it's, the controls are very familiar. A few things changed. So a few controls are different, but I don't think it's anything essential. I think it would be immediately familiar to any of the others. Tell me about the autofocus system, right? Is that something that, you know, really ultimately, you know, all of these things, the autofocus of the camera to me is what really drives the so, yeah. How good is it? Ultimately, the autofocus, I mean, you can have all the bells and whistles. If the camera can't focus, it... Absolutely. And without naming names, there's many cameras being made today that are driving me crazy because they're just really... So yeah. So with this, uh, again, it's a tweak. So we basically improved on an already positive 51 point focusing system. Uh, I mean, it is yeah, shooting them side by side with the T800 I have at home. Right. It's much snappier. It right? acquires the image better, much quicker. Tracking is cleaner. And it also, with, so we've now included the uh, Root A as the auto focus system that's mounted in the D4S. Explain that. It's a new type of focusing system that's called a group AF focusing system. Okay, so it basically takes your middle point and it actually surrounds it with four more points and it's a lot better for tracking and it's a little bit more accurate than your single point focusing system. It's really great for next sports. Right. If you're tracking a subject, bird is birds of flight, fantastic. Because with a D4, I used to go to a single point in 3D. Exactly. The 3D is amazing. Thank you. 
Right, the reason I sort of led you to that question is, you know, there's camera systems and then there's really camera systems, right? right. And to have that kind of lens, the lens capability. Now, there's a promotion that's running right now, right? There's a switch and save promotion? Absolutely. Okay, so it's sales of yours. Let's talk a little bit about the switch and save promotion. Okay, uh, basically, the way that the switch and save promotion works is if a person buys a tent, and decides that they want to buy, and they decide that they want to buy a, another lens later on. Uh, if you purchase a camera, anything that's purchased 30 days prior or 30 days after the purchase of the A10, within 30 days, you can have, you're eligible to get a voucher for anywhere from two hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, up to thousand dollars for any accessories such as lenses and flashes. Right, that's an amazing deal. You don't really, you don't, have, you know, okay, amazing deal. Camera store guy says amazing deal, right? But I mean, this is a new flagship product. It's really often that I think it's really very special time for us, right? Well, uh, it doesn't normally come out. You normally launch a product like this. You really, you don't get to it. And absolutely. And if you're switching from a different system, you're going to have to buy those accessories anyway. So here's the time to take advantage of getting extra vouchers towards purchasing. Absolutely, and since we're at Unique Photo, of course, I have to tell everybody the place to buy them in the is at Unique Photo. Absolutely, of course. They're sitting in our store here, right in front of our beautiful Nikon display. So, so. so are you excited about this now? One click it. I don't know if you're serious. I don't know. Maybe like, we won't let it see.